In this single strategy video, I'm going to show you two things you should copy and two things you should avoid from these two players. Now, first, this video is courtesy of the Hendy Tennis League. It's down in Atlanta, Georgia. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome YouTube channel. I've put their link in the description below. All right, so I'm going to discuss each one of these things briefly, and then I'll explain in more detail on the big board. The first idea is something you should avoid. And it is a lack of a split step while coming forward. Watch the baseliner hit a nice deep return. It pushes the server back. And watch how he starts coming forward. But look what he forgets to do. He forgets to split step. You need to split step as you are going forward at the moment the opponent is contacting the ball. That way you can move in any direction based on where your opponent hits the ball. He's just moving forward. He's lucky that the ball came right to him. If that ball had gone down the line or sharp cross court or even up over his head and he's just barreling in, the ball would not have been, you know, within reach. So he's lucky that the ball was hit right to him. So you have to make sure that you split step as your opponent is hitting the ball. Again, I'll explain all these ideas of why you want to do this on the big board. Number two is something you should copy. This player is really smart. He sees the opponent coming forward. He can almost feel the pressure of him attacking, and he decides to hit it low to him. When your opponent is coming forward, force them to volley below net level. And you can see this. The ball is down by his knees, and it forces the volleyer to have to pop it up. So that's something you should copy. I'll explain more in detail in a second. Number three, when you're dealing with a low volley, you want to keep the ball in front of you. What I mean by that is watch how his movement is going to the right. So he's on the right side of the court. Since he was hitting a backhand volley because the ball is on his body and he's hitting a backhand, it's going to push him off to the right. But the problem is he volleys to the left. So now he's on the wrong side of the court because he's not bisecting the opponent's two best shots down the line and cross court. And he has to quick scramble over and then he's out of position for the fourth idea, which is a perfectly executed down-the-line pass. The down-the-line passing shot is more successful than the cross-court passing shot in recreational singles. Now, before I diagram this up on the big board, if you're a singles player and you're looking to win more singles matches, then I want you to check out the new rules of singles. It's a brand new online solution from Will Hamilton over at Fuzzy Yellow Balls, and he's teamed up with Craig O'Shaughnessy, the leading stats guy in the world for both men's and women's singles and doubles. He's crunched the numbers for the Pro Tours. He knows exactly what is working and what is not working on the Pro Tours, and he's gonna share it with you so you can apply it in your own leagues and club matches. To pick up the new rules of singles, you can do two things. One, you can just grab the Fuzzy Yellow Balls app in the App Store, or you can use my link, it's in the description. I'm also gonna pin it in the first comment. Now, if you're looking for new people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, maybe you wanna find a league at your level in your local area, or you wanna find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Play Your Court, and it's playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. Number one, when you hit a strong shot or just an approach shot, and here comes the, the serve, the returner hit a really deep shot to the server's backhand. When you start going forward, you must split step as the opponent is hitting the ball. When you split step and your feet split apart and you're balanced, you can move in any direction, left, right, forward, you can move back. You don't want to be running as your opponent hits the ball because what if you're running in the wrong direction? It, that's not gonna help you. So if you're going forward, I don't care if you're in the middle of no man's land, you need to do a split step. If you get a split step as your opponent's hitting the ball, even if it means you're in, you're in no man's land, if the ball gets ripped down the line, instead of just running forward and there's no way to get over there, you can immediately go and get that ball. You want to split step every time your opponent hits the ball, even when you're going up for an approach shot or a forcing shot that you hit really strong and deep in the corner, and even if you're in no man's land, it doesn't matter. Split step every time your opponent uh, hits the ball. Number two, what we saw that we want to copy from the player at the top of the screen was as this player was running forward, he hit the ball low to him. 
when your opponent is coming to the net, you're not playing John McEnroe, you're not playing Martina Navratilova, you're not playing Roger Federer and Serena Williams. You don't have to avoid your opponent. When your opponent is coming to the net, involve them in the point because the chances of winning actually go up when you give them the ball. Now, if you're playing John McEnroe, please go for a passing shot because you put the ball on, their, on his racket, he's going to win the point. But you're not playing those players, so just give them a low ball. And gravity and topspin are really good at bringing the ball down. Just hit it right to your opponent and gravity and spin will bring the ball down below net level, which is what we saw. If you make your opponent play a ball from below net level on their volley, half the time they're gonna miss, the other half the time they're gonna pop it up weak, and that's gonna allow you to then go for the passing shot, which we will talk about. Now, the player coming to the net, he made another mistake. First, he missed the split step. The second one is he had a low ball. His body weight was going this way, but he volleyed this way. If you have a ball that is below net level, then you wanna keep the ball in front of you. And because he could feel his body going this way, it would have been smarter to keep the ball in front of him. Then he can bisect the down the line and cross court pass because when you're at the net, you wanna be on the same side of the court as your opponent. What ended up happening is he came forward, he had the ball low to him, he kind of moved out of the way with a backhand volley, he came over here, but he sent the ball this way, popping it up. Now the opponent is inside the court, and by the time he got over, it was too late, he was straddling the center service line, he is no longer bisecting the down the line and the cross court shot, and the down the line pass was wide open. So when you get a low volley, do not hit it away from where you are keep the ball in front of you. Low volleys are not volleys that we can end the point. High volleys is when we're gonna to try to end the point. Low volleys, we're not looking to end the point, we're looking to prolong the point. And the best way to do that is to keep the ball in front of you because when you keep the ball in front of you, you keep your opponent in front of you. So if you, let's say, let's, let's say instead of hitting a backhand volley on his knees, let's say he had a low forehand, it's still the same thing. He would want to hit it back here so that the ball is staying in front of him, which means it's easy for him to be in position by the time the opponent hits the ball. Now, the player up at the top of the screen, I would say, well, first off, the superior passing shot in singles is down the line. It's just what it is, it's the truth. Because the opponent rarely actually stands in the right spot. And also, when they do that, they actually cover the cross court. And the cross court pass, you have to put so much spin on a cross court passing shot to get it to dip inside the service box, which is where cross court passes must land, that it's just a much higher uh, amount of difficulty in order to execute that shot. The down the line passing shot is typically wide open in recreational singles. The opponent is not covering it because they're usually too much in the middle and you can hit the ball short, medium and deep and you have all of this room to keep it in. If you hit cross court, you have this little area. Sure, it's really fun to try, but it's so much more difficult. You wanna play high percentage tennis. It's interesting, I've, I've taught for 26 years and when you tell people play high percentage tennis, they think it's boring. No, it gives you a higher percentage of winning. I mean, you have to think of this. If you hit cross court and you win, let's say 27% of the time, and you hit down the line and you're gonna win, I don't know, 73% of the time. Well, you have to look at it and say, would you rather win the point 73% of the time or 27% of the time? Now, anybody who says 27 is just not thinking correctly. Why would you wanna win one out of four points when you can win three out of four points? That's what high percentage tennis is. It simply means you're gonna win a higher percentage per 100 points that that occurs. So of course, the down the line is gonna be the superior shot for the reasons that I mentioned. So review footage of your matches. Look to see that you're split stepping. Look to see that when your opponent comes to the net that you're giving them a low ball and forcing them into an error or a weak pop-up volley. If you have a low volley, keep the ball in front of you. And when you go for the pass in singles, hit the down the line pass more often. It is the superior passing shot in recreational tennis. You work on your game and apply these tips, there is no doubt. You're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.